New reporting shows that the event planning group event strategies has been raking in tons of dough from the Republican party for the last 12 months. And event strategies also happens to be the group that organized, it was paid to organize the stop the steel rally on January 6th. And ever since that day, they have been paid hundreds of thousands of dollars by people like Mo Brooks, people like Donald Trump, and of course, groups like the national Republican congressional committee, one of the largest fundraising arms of the Republican party itself. So even after, even after event strategies helps organize the stop the steel rally that later turned into the Capitol riot, Republicans are still looking at them and saying, you know what? I like the cut of their jib. I like what they do. They get results. I give them that they got results. And now they're showering this group event strategies with money. Th th this is topsy turvy world folks under normal circumstances, which this country apparently waved bye-bye to for, you know, last five years, this group would be a social pariah. This group would have been so ostracized and criticized because of their involvement in that rally that they probably would have had to have disbanded everybody gone their separate ways, formed new groups that had no connection whatsoever to event strategies and then moved on from there. But no, not in today's crazy topsy turvy political climate. They're actually being rewarded for what they did. And of course, one of the biggest rewarders out there is Donald Trump and uh, his seemingly unlimited PAC money. Here it is. <laughs> Trump's fundraising apparatus has paid event strategies roughly $800,000 since January 6th, according to data compiled by the center for responsive politics. Um, in April, the national Republican congressional committee, the official national committee for house Republicans reported spending about 30, uh, $3,600 with the firm for facility rental and dropped another 6,000 for audio visual staging. Um, in late August, Alabama Republican, uh, representative Mo Brooks, uh, shelled out 200,000 and 700,000 to the company respectively, according to filings with the FEC. So we have this group that may not have been involved in the Capitol riot. I'm not trying to say that they were involved in it in any way, but they did help organize the thing that became the Capitol riot because those people at the stop the steel rally then went over and stormed the Capitol. And again, in a normal world, event strategies would never get another client again. <laughs> they would have to disband or rebrand, you know, kind of like Facebook's trying to do and be like, no event strategies. What's that? We're event group, but they're not. And again, they are being rewarded. But according to reports, those aren't the only weird payments that have taken place since January 6th, Marjorie Taylor Greene immediately following January 6th and in the few days before it spent $25,000 advertising on parlor. What for, right? That's still a big question mark that we really need to know. Of course, we do know that Marjorie Taylor green on parlor, the social media, uh, conservative social media site. She did post, uh, what was it? It's our 1776 moment while spending tens of thousand dollars in advertising on the site. Something's not right here. Something's not adding up. Why are Republicans clinging to this event strategies group, right? It's not like they're the only name in the business. It's not like they're the only game in town. You're in DC. You can find event organizers on just about every dang corner. They want to reward this company, I believe, because they like what they did. Republicans liked what they saw on January 6th. Hopefully they don't repeat it, but again, they sure as hell can't deny that event strategies got results and Republicans are going to continue to reward them for it.